This is KCTV English News. I'm Hee Jung Lee. Police investigations, which began in January after 14 billion won disappeared from Landing Casino, have been slow. Police are still tracking down suspects of the massive cash theft and haven't yet figured out where the retrieved stolen money came from. Mike Laidman reports. At the end of 2020, 14 and a half billion won allegedly vanished from the casino at Jeju Shinwa World. The police investigation began back in January, but has been slow over the last five months. However, there were two suspects named. Police have launched a search for a female Malaysian executive of Chinese descent in her 50s who was in charge of financial management at the casino. The second suspect, a potential co-perpetrator, is identified as a 30-something Chinese national whose job was to attract clients. The two left for Dubai and China, respectively, right after the theft. Police have thus far failed to bring them to Korea, although a red notice has been issued to locate and detain the suspects. However, there is still no certainty that the two could even be forcibly returned to Korea, as treaties for the extradition of criminals are different between countries. Police have questioned two suspected Korean accomplices, but failed to secure any kind of meaningful evidence from them. Despite these setbacks, police have discovered 13 billion won, presumed to be part of the stolen money. Some was found in the Jeju Casino's VIP safe, with more found where the Malaysian executive used to stay in Jeju City. But police have failed to find out from where the money came. The owner of the casino, Landing International, and the male Chinese suspect are both claiming ownership of the cash. Police have yet to comment on the issue. The property of the two suspects was searched, but police failed to find any related evidence, including anything of note via CCTV footage. The massive cash theft has gone unsettled for months. With police still trying to track down the suspects behind the theft, with no idea where the retrieved money came from, it is doubtful whether they still have the will or incentive to bring the case to a conclusion. Mike Laidman, KCTV.